Right, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. And first and foremost, with saying that, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Kai Halal, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Waha Rakakwadash. Next, double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to all you sincere actors, man, pushing this Bible week in and week out to the best of your ability, regardless of people here for a bit. This week's GMS on the go, I'm going to call it, um, The Watchmen Will Not Keep Silence. The true watchmen of Yahweh by Shem Shai, the watchmen that he has set up to be leaders, rulers, judges, teachers, priests, apostles, elders, will not keep silent, man. So the name of this GMS on the go is called um, The Watchmen Will Not Keep Silent. So the first scripture we're going to get into is the book of Isaiah, chapter 62. You wondering why we doing all these videos? You wondering why we hit the streets constantly, over and over, over and over, over and over? Because you have Bashim Yahshua has sent forth watchmen, and they would not keep silence, man. We're gonna be, we're gonna be a net to y'all people, man. You know how a net get on your nerves, keep flying around your face, and you keep swatting at it, swatting at it. You think it's gone? Let's say you know that net come right back, right? Let's say you know you like the net pisses you off, right? So we like gnats and flies to you people, man. You know, we get, we supposed to get on your nerves, man. Okay? We crying to you how about Shemia was shot, man. So you wondering why we do that? Because the scriptures say the watchman would not keep silent. So we're going to hop right into it. This is Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I have set, it's like it, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Which Jerusalem is a people before us a place. And the watchmen, you look at the ancient movies, you've seen the watchmen on top of the castle, what do they do? They watched out for approaching enemies. And if they're seeing anything out of the ordinary, they would do what? They would sound the alarm, right? So once again, which I can get that right quick, about us blowing that trumpet. It's supposed to be constantly blowing that trumpet, man. No matter what, man. Let's get Joel right quick. This is Joel. Chapter, um, this is Joel chapter 1. It's like in Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Once again, Zion to Zion, which means you Hebrew Israelites. We're blowing the trumpet, man. You know, just like a watchman that you would see on top of the castle. When he's seen unfamiliar faces or he's seen approaching enemies, he would sound the alarm. He would blow the trumpet. That's what we're doing. When you see us doing these videos, when you see us out there on the highways and byways, guess what? We're blowing the trumpet to Zion. To you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, letting you know that war is coming, man. Letting you know that the enemy is approaching. It's fastly approaching, right? Joel chapter 2, verse 1 again. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And that's a, that's the main reason why we blowing this trumpet. We letting our people know that the Lord is the day of the Lord is at hand, man. And it's gonna be a day of death and destruction, man. So the watchmen don't supposed to keep their mouth shut. You know, a watchman. Every time you turn around, you are supposed to be hearing that watchman sound the alarm. Every time you turn around, man. You know, a watchman don't supposed to go to sleep. He's supposed to be watching out for the people, right? And a watchman that has fell asleep, the whole city, you know what I'm saying, will get destroyed up under his watch, man. And, and the people that do um, make it alive, they will go find that watchman, and they will put him to death ASAP. So once again, going back to Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. That's why you constantly see seeing brothers just flood the internet right about now, man, at a rapid speed. Doing videos after videos, videos after videos, hitting the streets. One and, one and twice a week, you know what I'm saying? Not holding their peace, you know what I'm saying? We're getting on these heathens' nerves, we're getting on two-thirds nerves, and we're getting on Lord Yahweh's nerves. We're getting on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's nerves, too, by bringing out this word. Just like um, I made the example of the net and the fly. When it comes around, you know what I'm saying, you keep swatting it, you keep swatting it, it's getting on your nerves. You think it's gone, and that's saying, you know, a couple of seconds later or a minute later, here it comes back again, just getting on your nerves. 
So that's exactly what we're doing, right? Getting on these people's nerves. We shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, keep not silence. So we're not keeping silence, man. It's a time to speak. You know what I'm saying? And it's a time to be quiet. Matter of fact, let me get that right quick. Every time you turn around, you know what I'm saying? We're making videos, video after video, video after video. Why? Because it's a time to keep silence, man. And it's a time to speak. See, we're living in a time for, for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to be speaking, man. That's the time that we're living in. So Ecclesiastes chapter 3, I'm going to start at 1 again, and I'm going to jump down. To everything, there is a season. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. I'm going to jump down to verse um, 7. A time to rend. A time to sow. A time to keep silence. And a time to speak. This is the time to speak. And then when you go, um, you look up that word preach, it goes back to speak, man. This is time for unique roles, Latinos, and Native American is the one that have been blessed with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures to speak, man. Cry aloud, spare not, man. Speak. So once again, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse um, 7. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. We're living in a time for you to speak. Cry aloud, spare not. Keep not silence, right? Going right back to Isaiah chapter 62. I'm going to read the bottom of 6. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, keep not silence. You're, you're a dog, right? So bark, right? You're a watchman, so blow the trumpet, right? And give him no rest. We ain't giving Yahweh Bashim Shai no rest. We ain't giving the so called white man no rest. We ain't giving two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians no rest. We ain't giving the whole world no rest, man. Why? And give him no rest till he establish. Until he make Jerusalem, which is a people before us a place, a praise in the earth. So we ain't going to give you how about Shem no rest until we get set back on top, man. We're going to get on your how about Shem nerves. We're bringing the scripture out, cr crying to him, begging to him, pleading to him to put us back on top, man. What we're supposed to be. We was created to be from the beginning anyway, man. You heathens were created to be up under us, man. We was created, you know what I'm saying, to be that great special nation. To be above all these other nations, man. And until we rise to the top, or until you have Bashim Shah put us on the top again, hey, we're not going to keep silent, man. Every time you turn around, Abba Ratazah, the men of the Lord, are going to be doing these edifying videos. Back to back, back to back, back to back. And, and trust me, it's getting on these people's nerves, man. We're getting on these people's nerves. This is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. We just read in Joel, sound the alarm, blow the trumpet, right? So we're supposed to cry aloud, spare not, we're supposed to spare nobody feelings when it comes to reading the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, man. It said, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is a loud playing instrument, right? Not a flute, you know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell us, keep not silence, man. So we're supposed to blow that trumpet. Spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions. Ain't you supposed to show the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans where they going off at, man? Transgression is the breaking of the law, which is sin. It says, in the house of Jacob, their sin, their sins. And that's what we do. We go out down the highway, them byways, we bring out this word. We let the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know where they going off at, you know? We let, we, we, get on, we let all these heathens know what time it is with them, man. We let the so-called white man know that he's going into captivity along with these other nations. We let our people know if they don't get right with the God of the Bible, they're going to be destroyed. We're constantly lifting up our voice, man. Sparing not, okay? Not keep, don't keep silent, man. You got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Do not keep silent, man, okay? Lift it up. Lift your voice up. This is um, Micah. I'm going to finish off with this. This is Micah chapter 3, verse 8. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgressions 
and to Israel his sins. So that's another reason why, you know what I'm saying, we're, we're not keeping silence. But we got to let our people know where they going off at and to turn back. We got to let these heathens know their judgment, their future, man. Okay? So the true watchmen of Yahweh, Bashimel Shah, are not going to keep silence, man. You're wondering why we constantly making videos. You're wondering why the apostles, you know what I'm saying, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone are telling us to go hard. You know what I'm saying? You know, be in the mind state, you know what I'm saying, of three videos a day. Why? Because the watchmen are not going to keep silence, man. You're going to always hear from the watchman's mouth, man, blowing that truck, the sound of the alarm, man. And uh, with that, man, I hope brothers are edified. The real watchmen of Yahweh, by Shemuel Shah, are not going to keep silent, right? Giving all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rekah, Kodash. Um, next, double honors to the head of apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace and blessings to all you sincere icons, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out. You're doing a good work. Keep it up. You know what I'm saying? Abaratazah. Because guess what? The watchmen will not keep silent. Shalom.